Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to today's video. Now, today is a very interesting one. You're probably wondering what the hell we're doing back here unboxing yet another iPhone XS Max. This is actually the same exact phone that I've already done an unboxing for on this channel. If you guys want a longer and extended more in-depth version of this unboxing definitely check out that video but for this one why are we doing this and what is the purpose well there's a damn good reason yesterday some major news happened apple stopped signing ios 12.0.1 now this just happened to be by coincidence i was actually picking up a second iphone 10s max but that inspired me to make this video let's see what version this brand new iphone 10s max it's completely sealed as you guys can see the plastic has yet to even come off of it let's see what ios version this is running Hopefully, by all means, I pray to God, it's on iOS 12.0.1 because the signing window has now closed. Hopefully, you saved your blobs if you're jailbroken on iOS 11. If not, I don't know, man. I warned everyone, like, I, I made so many videos on it, but you guys are smart. I'm sure you did the right thing and either stayed on iOS 12.0.1, iOS 12.0, or on iOS 11. All right, well, let's go ahead and get into this unboxing. It's just going to be a quick one. Let's go ahead and take this plastic wrap off right here and get directly into this guy. So there's the plastic wrap, Apple pamphlets. Ooh, not lose everything out of the box. There is the iPhone XS Max. I'm gonna go ahead and boot this guy up. I'll leave the plastic wrap on for this video, but there we are, guys. It's currently booting up for the very first time. The plastic has yet to come off. Same shit, different day in the box. Lightning cable, headphones, uh, no dongle, sadly. That really sucks, but that's Apple for you. But that's pretty much what's in the box. I'm sure you guys have already seen that already, but let's go ahead and take a look at what firmware this guy is on. Again, I'm hoping it's on iOS 12.0.1. Um, if not, oh well. All right, well, here's a better look at the phone while we're going through the setup process right here. Um, it's just gonna take a second. Why don't we take this plastic off right here? Very nice, there we go. And uh, let's see exactly what this guy says. Now, this was the SIM-free version of the iPhone XS Max. It's just the 64 gigabyte black model. Um, there we go, so it went straight through. Um, gonna set up Face ID later in the settings app. Don't use a passcode here. Set up as a new phone. Absolutely set it up as a new phone. Do not restore from a backup if you're intending on jailbreaking. I'm just gonna potentially hit don't use. Wow, God, this is ridiculous. <laughs> that was really strange. That took a little second, but um, I'm gonna install updates manually. And uh, all this I'm just gonna set up later in settings. This is a lot of bullcrap. And, uh, choose a view all right well here's the moment of truth guys we're already through setting up the initial steps with this iphone 10s max here we go into general oh god i'm so scared all right about ios 12.0 oh my god hell yeah iOS 12.0. Now, that's not the end of the world. I ideally wanted to be on iOS 12.0.1, but essentially both of those builds are pretty much identical. They both have pretty much the same framework behind them. A lot of bugs were patched in iOS 12.1. A lot of things were changed, but iOS 12.0 and iOS 12.0.1 are definitely going to receive a jailbreak before iOS 12.1, if not at the same time. So it's a great idea to just remain on the lower iterations of iOS 12 and or iOS 11.3.1 if you're jailbroken with blobs saved and or iOS 11.4 or iOS 11.4.1. Those are still really good options. I definitely see a second or third now, excuse me, iOS 11 jailbreak coming before one comes for iOS 12 here in the near future. 
Anyway guys, brand new iPhone XS Max shipping on the very first iteration of iOS 12. I'm definitely going to install the tvOS beta profile. You know what, I'll go ahead and show you how to do that in this video real fast. Let's just go ahead and I think it's beta profiles. Let's see what we got here. Beta profiles home. Yeah, there we go. And then we're just gonna go down to tvOS right here, click download. I guess download anyways, that was a new pop-up, but we'll see what happens, yep. Click allow, and we're gonna go ahead and install the tvOS beta profile right here, and just navigate through the install steps, click restart at the very end. Can all, let's go through a quick restart. But that is pretty much it, guys. That is how to set up your brand new iPhone XS Max, and uh, that is it. I don't know, I can't believe I got one on iOS 12.0. That is absolutely phenomenal. Hopefully we will be receiving a jailbreak as soon as possible for iOS 12, but I really can't say at this point, we don't have any kernel level exploits out for iOS 12. So I'll keep you guys in the loop. Um, I do have a phone for jailbreak videos, so I will keep you up to date. Anyway guys, thank you so much for making it to the end of this video. Just another quick unboxing. I was just really curious to see what version of iOS a brand new iPhone XS Max would come with. And it came with iOS 12.0, which is a great firmware to be on if you want to jailbreak in the near future. Definitely stay on iOS 12.0.1 or below for now. iOS 12.1 has a lot of issues and fixes a lot of vulnerabilities. Anyway guys, thank you again so much for watching. Like, subscribe, and all that stuff if you want to stay updated. But until next time, this is Tony signing out. Nice. Alexa, turn off the lights. Okay.